Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Dr. RK Medicos. In this video, we are going to discussing about the morphology and physiology of bacteria. So continue to watch my video at last and never skip this video. And if you are new at my YouTube channel, then please subscribe, like and share my YouTube channel and never forget to press the bell icon so that you will get notification of all video uploaded by me on my YouTube channel. Let's start this video without skipping the time. Before discussing the morphology and physiology of bacteria, firstly we will see the some important points and that should be remembered in your mind. And first is the resolution limit of uh, I is about 200 microns, right? And the bacteria are unicellular and do not show the true branching except the higher bacteria like actinomycetes. Now we will discuss about the microscopy. In introduction, you should remember is that the Leeuwenhoek first observed the bacteria over the 300 year ago. And uh, now the type of microscope, as you already know that uh, there are mainly three types of microscope. First is optical or light microscope, dark field microscope and electron microscope. Now we will discuss about the strain preparation. Firstly, in introduction, you should remember is that the bacteria may be strained in living state in a special purpose. But the routine method of staining of the bacteria involves the dyeing and fixing a smear procedure that kills them and the bacteria have an affinity for the basic dye due to the acidic nature of protoplasm as you already know now we will discuss about the different method of staining firstly we will see the simple staining in the simple staining in this method the dye such as uh, methylene blue or the basic fusin are used for simple staining and they provide the color contrast but impact the same color to the all bacteria this is the disadvantage of the simple staining uh, process right and in this way by this uh, process we cannot uh, identify the different type of bacteria now the negative staining in this method the bacteria are mixed with dye such as indian ink or negrosine and uh, what's so what is the use of negative staining this is particularly useful in the demonstration of bacterial capsule which do not take the simple strain. And now we will discuss about the advantage of negative staining method. And uh, as you already know that uh, very cylinder ba bacteria such as aspirochetes that uh, are not demonstrable by the simple staining method can be viewed by the negative staining method. This is the advantage of negative staining method. Now, we will talk about the third method that is impregnation method. In this method, the seal and a structure too thin to seen under the ordinary microscope may be visible only if they are thickened by impregnation of the silver on the surface. So this method is known as impregnation method. And uh, what is the advantage of impregnation method? Such method that is impregnation method are used for the demonstration of, of aspirochetes and the bacterial flagella. This is the advantage of the impregnation method. This is all about the different method of uh, staining of uh, the bacteria. Now we will discuss about the different type of stain. And firstly, in introduction you should remember is that this strain impact the different color to the different bacteria. And two most widely used uh, differential strain are gram strain and acid fast strain. Firstly, we will discuss about the gram strain. It originally discovered by Christian Gram as a method of staining of bacteria as you already know. Now we will discuss about the step of gram strain. And the first step of gram staining procedure is that the primary staining with a para aniline dye such as crystal violet, methylene blue, uh, violet or uh, the gentian violet. And the second step uh, after that, uh, the application of dilute solution of iodine and uh, after this process, uh, the decolorization with the organic solvent uh, such as ethanol, acetone or aniline is the taken places and uh, finally, Contrast staining with a dye of contrasting color such as uh, carbon fusine, safranin, or uh, neutral red. This is the step of gram staining procedure. And by four step, we can uh, apply the gram stain on the bacteria and uh, differentiate between different type of bacteria. Now we will discuss about the classification of bacteria on the basis of gram stain. On the basis of gram stain, as you already know that the bacteria are classified into two categories. First is 
gram positive bacteria and the gram negative bacteria and uh, what is gram positive bacteria those bacteria that resist the decolorization and retain the primary stain appearing violet and uh, this type of bacteria is known as gram positive bacteria well the gram negative bacteria those bacteria that are decolorized by organic solvent and appearing red then such bacteria is known as gram negative bacteria and the remain part of this uh, topic we will discuss in next lecture i hope that this video will be knowledgeable for you thank you for watching my video at last and please subscribe like and share my youtube channel and support me